All right, Daryl Live coming to you from Southern California here. It's already uh, the 19th of January, 2017. Everybody's talking about the big inauguration of Donald J. Trump tomorrow. Love it, President-elect. It's already happening today. Uh, what is all the uh, ceremonies have been all day happening in Washington, D.C. Donald Trump took the uh, one of the Air Force One planes, the military planes. Love it. Two... Uh, Washington, D.C. from New York today. Oh, it's a great time to be alive. I was just watching some of the uh, programs here. How can you miss it? I love it. Listen, I skipped all the <laughs> inauguration ceremonies of Obama. I couldn't stand to see that guy uh, become president again and become president in 09. Yikes. Uh, the biggest loser in presidents in 241 years almost. Obama will go down, is going down, has gone down, and will go down in history as the worst U.S. president ever. Yeah, so it's nice to see uh, the new, uh, the new uh, the celebrations <laughs> at the Lincoln Memorial and the wreath laying today and the leadership uh, luncheon today in Washington, D.C. at the Trump uh, Hotel and uh, Arlington Cemetery, right? And, uh, and then we see at the Lincoln Memorial... You know, people singing, God bless America. And uh, it's nice to see a president elect. And, uh, and, the, and the, uh, well, the first lady tomorrow, Melania, and the first family to be tomorrow after the inauguration, the official titles. It's nice to see people that actually care about the country, <laughs> that actually love this country. You know, Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, a.k.a. Barry Satoro, was picked by the New World Order because he was foreign-born. Uh, the presidents that have been on the payroll for the for the Vatican, the U.S. presidents have been on the payroll for the for, uh, the U.S. president. Let me say this again: the U.S. presidents since 1871 have been on the payroll of the Vatican uh, until this year. <laughs> I love it. Donald Trump is not on the Vatican payroll. He's unplugged from the Matrix. He's not working for the Vatican, even though he's had ties with the, the Jesuits, grew up in a, in a school connected to the Jesuits. He is not a Jesuit. He's not part of the Jesuit system. He is anti-New World Order. Listen, I grew up uh, being uh, trained by the Roman Catholic Church until I escaped, until I found out who they were. Uh-oh, I'm out of here. Until I found a Bible on the street, I realized these guys were anti-biblical the Roman Catholic Church. I love all the Catholic people, but I disagree 100% with their screwed up biblical doctrine, unbiblical doctrines, I should say, yeah. So it's nice to see Trump uh, uh, and Melania and, the, and his children and grandchildren and relatives and his administration actually loving this country for a change. Uh, and their slogan has been, Make America Great Again, which is a slap in the face of the New World Order because the New World Order run by the Vatican, run by fallen angels, uh, which has the connections in most governments around the world. Most uh, intelligence agencies are run uh, by the Vatican, the CIA, the British intelligence, Israeli intelligence, uh, European intelligence, whatever, around the planet are connected into the Vatican. The Jesuits run them. Uh, but saying all that, I, uh, I'm wondering and uh, if the CIA has something up their sleeve against Trump. Does the CIA want Trump dead? Uh, is there a, f a major fight right now between the CIA and the FBI? Are the FBI uh, agents trying to protect Trump from the CIA? Let me say that again. Uh, is the FBI, are the FBI trying to protect Donald J. Trump fr from the CIA? Well, when I read articles like this, uh, FBI agents prepare to counter CIA coup against Trump. Wow. When I read articles like this, former FBI chief claims most terror attacks are committed by our CIA slash and FBI. You know, there, I believe uh, the CIA is mostly corrupt, probably a high 90% corrupt. Whereas the FBI is, uh, has corrupt people like uh, Comey, uh, Comey, James Comey, the, C, uh, the FBI director, he's on, I believe, he's on the, he's on the, pay, he's the payroll of the Clinton Foundation. That's why Hillary wasn't indicted. John Brennan, the CIA director, man, that guy is total Jesuit, Muslim, New World Order plant. Don't you like Muslims there? Did I say I didn't like Muslim, Muslims? 
I don't like the religion, but I love the people. All right. So when I see articles like this, FBI agents prepare to counter CIA coup against Trump. Boom. Former FBI chief claims most terror attacks are committed by our CIA and FBI. Oh, and I read articles like this from Natural News today which uh, I talked about this a little bit uh, on my programs. Listen, I'm doing uh, three programs a day. Two live programs on Facebook Live, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., all right? Daily, Monday through Friday and Sunday mornings, 10 a.m., with a recap every day on YouTube. Yeah, so I have over 1,400, going on 1,500 videos on my YouTube channel. Go to DarylLawson.com and click and subscribe and get all my links and my social media and my videos, yeah. All right, let me read this one from... Uh, 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 Actually, nat naturalnews.com. It says, uh, <clears throat> tre uh, treasonous fake news outlet CNN appears to encourage Trump assassination to point out that Obama cabinet member would take over as president. I talked about this this morning. Uh, CNN has uh, a chip on their shoulder or are still angry. I don't think they'll ever get us. I don't think CNN will ever rebound from the fact that Donald Trump labeled them as fake news. And now they're just coming out and I would have to say, yes, I agree with Natural News. Looks like CNN is encouraging a Trump assassination. Now, CNN is run by the CIA, which is run by the Vatican. So, <clears throat> wow. Is the CNN slash CIA encouraging a Trump assassination? I would have to say probably, yeah. When you put all the pieces together, yeah. It says the far left has become, so I call them the, the demonic uh, uh, politicians and leaders have become so unhinged in the wake of, uh, of of Donald Trump's victory over Clinton that its behavior is boring on the criminal. It is criminal. Treasonous. Discredited fake news outlet CNN is being heavily criticized for a report that seems to suggest there could be an assassination of the president. Wow. And should that happen, an Obama cap Obama cabinet pick would would be waiting in the wings to take over. I mean, totally treasonous article. They should be held accountable to this. Uh, CNN goes on to say that disaster could put Obama cabinet member in the Oval Office. It's just like the new television series Designated Survivor. I think it, that's also a CIA-directed television series uh, aimed at uh, against Trump. I believe that, yeah. Then CNN goes on to fantasize about who would be in charge if an incoming attack hit the president. Now, the designated survivor, which I think is on ABC, whatever, uh, is about the president, the vice president uh, of the U.S., and most of the cabinet, the Congress, being destroyed in a bomb. So people have to realize that most of the media, news media, most of the movies, most of the television series and talk shows are, are at magazines, and books that come out are specifically, uh, uh, their purpose is to manipulate uh, the American people and the world to what the Vatican slash CIA want and the New World Order wants. Yeah, to get them uh, ready, get them prepped, get them mind controlled. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> CNN said the individual named the designated presidential successor will not be at the inauguration as a security precaution, but it won't be a Trump cabinet secretary. It will be an Obama appointee. It's all smacks of treason, doesn't it? Yeah. And like I said, CNN, which is run by the CIA, is still upset that Trump labeled them fake news, which they are. They are propaganda fake news. And not just them, by the way, most of the others. Wow. There's already been a number of death threats against the soon-to-be President Trump, including a family friend of Hillary Clinton, who was arrested after he threatened to assassinate Trump at his inauguration. There's also been numerous reports of protest, unrest, and property damage being planned for the inauguration day tomorrow. We already know that CNN, the article says, has regularly committed journalistic fraud. Well, they're working for the CIA. Is CNN suggesting an attack on Trump? I would have to say, yeah. Because the CIA the CNN, and CNN are totally upset 
that Trump is now becoming U.S. president and is outing them as not part of the Matrix New World Order. Look at John Brennan, the CIA director, came out last week uh, flapping his gums against Trump. When, is it, when have you ever seen a CIA director be, be so angry at an incoming president? Wow. Respondents on YouTube to this article or articles uh, blasted the network for what could be occur what could be taken as an encouraging uh, or CNN trying to encourage. It looks like CNN is trying to encouraging, trying to encourage an attack on Trump. I mean, wow, 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 wow. This is not unprecedented for CNN or the CIA, by the way. Don't forget the CIA uh, was instrumental in killing JFK. Just. FYI, for your information. CNN, by the way, which has demonstrated amazing bias against Trump of the, uh, from the onset. This is the same network of losers who gave Thomas DiMazio a platform after he rushed a state, after he rushed a state uh, to violently confront Trump during a campaign event in Ohio last year. Remember that guy, Thomas DiMazio, probably will come to the CIA. Imagine if Fox News had run this kind of story on the eve of the president-elect uh, Obama's first inauguration in 08. The left-wing establishment, the CIA, the New World Order would have exploded with anger. But that's the point. It's okay for the journo terrorists on the left, they're calling them journo terrorists, to publish this kind of garbage and pretend it's news. This article goes on to say, if you're not boycotting CNN, you're just encouraging more of this kind of outrageous behavior. Listen, CNN would have been uh, history a long time ago, but the government sends money to CNN to continue. Yeah, one way or another. Yeah. Let me just... Uh, let me just throw this in here. It says, former C FBI uh, chief claims most terror attacks are committed by our CIA and FBI. Former FBI Chief Ted Gunderson discusses terror attacks and who's behind them. Anyway, I'm not going to read the whole article. It's alternativenewsnetwork.net. Uh, amazing. If you look at history and who was behind them, <laughs> that's why it's so hypocritical uh, and such a deceptive uh, media pro uh Media spin on the news or events, uh, blaming like Russia, blaming Russia for interfering in this last U.S. election. Uh, well, the FBI and the CIA, mainly the CIA, but the FBI has been uh, polluted as well. Uh, effects uh, for the New World Order, for the Vatican, for a foreign government, what goes on in the U.S. and around the world. They, they're always uh, sticking their nose in other people's businesses. Of course they are. Very good article. And then I'll throw this article as well. Uh, yournewswire.com. This was back at the end or in, in, in December, but it fits in here. FBI agents prepared to counter CIA coup against Donald Trump. FBI agents have, so you add the CNN uh, crazy news network, you know, uh, suggesting, you know, an assassination of Trump, even promoting it, I would have to say. FBI, former FBI chief talks about the CIA runs that false flag and terrorist, terrorism in the U.S. and around the world. With the FBI, it's help it at times. And now you throw in articles like this, FBI, you put the pieces together. FBI agents, this was back in December, have had their holiday leave canceled amid fears of an attempt, attempted coup by the CIA. That's why Brennan was on television last week attacking Trump. To overthrow President-elect Trump, I think the CIA is out to get Trump. We have to pray for him. Now, I know from the scriptures uh, that there are at least 100 trillion good angels to, to uh, stop the plots of the, of the evil one and of the New World Order. Revelation 5, chapter 5, verse 11, And, and I behold, beheld, John the Apostle said here by the Holy Spirit, I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne. The number of them was 10,000 times 10,000. That's uh, well, 100 million times 1,000 times 1,000. That's 100 trillion. 10,000 times 10,000. That would be uh, 10,000 has four zeros. 
That would be eight zeros. So that's a uh, hundred million times a thousand times a thousand equals a hundred trillion plus. So there's at least a hundred trillion good angels out there. Yeah. You know, the J JFK, uh, the CIA actually removed JFK, President John Kennedy's uh, secret service detail uh, before he was killed. Wow. FBI agents have had their holiday leave canceled in December amid fears of an att attempted coup by the CIA to overthrow Trump, President-elect Trump. According to reports, uh, all 35,000 agents in December were on standby to stop the CIA from overthrowing democratically elected president of the U.S., Trump. Well, don't forget, the CIA went into the Ukraine and overthrew their democratically elected government and put in a Nazi government, a fascist government, and took their goal. The CIA did that. We're shooting. Remember the CIA was, was, was shooting people in the crowd? Yeah. The FBI have relocated most of its SWAT teams to the McDrill Air Force Base in Florida, where they have been placed under a joint command structure with the U.S. Military Joint Special Operations Command, JSOC. The move comes after President Obama told U.S. soldiers during a brief briefing at the McDill Air Force Base on December 6th to openly ignore Donald Trump and question his authority, quote, when he becomes president. What a freak. What a treasonous, demon-possessed Obama president. Yeah, He's the Antichrist, by the way. Watch my videos on that. This was a tantamount to inciting a coup against the incoming administration. Well, of course it is. Obama is a CIA asset, worked for the CIA. Obama worked for the CIA before he became a senator, before he became president. Obama's mother and father worked, and grandparents worked for the CIA. Whoa! They had to bring, see, Obama was chosen as a foreigner so that he could totally be unpatriotic to this country and destroy it. The weaknesses uh, of the past presidents came in patriotism. No matter how many presidents since 1871, and they passed the Act of 1871, making the U.S. a corporation and, and making presidents CEO uh, of a corporation in the United States. Under the Vatican, all the presidents, U.S. presidents since 1871, had a weakness that the New World Order didn't like. They were patriotic to this country, at least even a little bit. So it got in the way of, of their total takeover and crushing of the U.S., so finally, under Obama, they thought, we'll bring in a British citizen. Obama was born in the British protectorate of East Africa. Now we know as Kenya. Uh, but he was a foreigner. And they thought if they could bring in a foreigner, a British citizen, from Africa that was under British control. Now he's a, he's a British citizen. Obama's a British citizen. If they brought in a foreigner to the U.S., hopefully this President Obama would have no patriotism to this country, hate this country, libel this country, and dismantle this country. And it almost worked. It says, within 72 hours of Obama telling American soldiers to, to, to disobey Trump, the White House announced an investigation into Russia supposedly meddling in the 2016 election, uh, which was followed by the Washington Post publishing of a bombshell article stating that Russia directly influenced the election so Trump could win. You know, Trump won because Hillary was crazy. The Washington Post is one of the CIA's main central propaganda mainstream media fake news outlet. Wow. That was purchased by the shadowy American billionaire Jeff Bezos. Three months after the CIA had given him $600 million in a contract, secret contract. And who just weeks ago put 200 American alternative media websites on a list of known Russian propaganda. And then had to retract the Spears claim. Wow. A lot of the uh, alternative websites uh, are warning that President-elect Trump is now, being, uh, is now in danger of being assassinated. Well, I just heard uh, just a few hours ago that North Korea was trying to shoot nukes at the U.S. and stop the inauguration. I'm not concerned about... Now, even though North Korea is also run by the Vatican through the CIA. Uh, yeah, this little Kim Jong-un uh, is a little CIA, fat little pudgy, bad haircutted <laughs> or cut little uh, CIA puppet. Yeah, he, uh, he happens to wear the same pantsuits as Hillary Clinton. I mean, wow. 
Anyways, uh, yeah, this uh, Kim Jong-un is just base, a, a puppet in the CIA Vatican's control. So, uh, of course, they're upset that Trump got in. Of course, they're up, uh, upset at the inauguration. Of course, they've been trying to attack uh, Trump, and they've been losing at every, every turn. Uh, so will they continue to try? Probably. Will they fail? Hopefully. We've got to pray for Trump. We've got to pray Psalm 91 over Trump. But don't forget, for every bad fallen angel, there's two good ones. There's a hundred trillion plus good angels. So, uh, <clears throat> well, let me just, let me see right here. Uh, oh, I'm not going to, I can't read all of this. <clears throat> uh, I'll read a last article here in the U yournewswire.com. It says, and though not mentioned uh, in the above reports, it's critical to note that the last American president to go to war against the CIA was John F. Kennedy who vowed to, uh, John, uh, JFK, JFK vowed to splinter this accursed spy agency, quote, into a thousand pieces and scatter it into the wind. The CIA is run by the Jesuits. The Jesuits are the mafia side of the Vatican, which put out hits on leaders around the world all the time and have been doing this for a long time. So JFK vowed to splinter the, the, the CIA into a thousand pieces. But JFK was gunned down before he could even get started after the CIA ordered his secret service. So the CIA ordered JFK's secret service protection detail to abandon the president. As a result, this beloved American leader, JFK, was, uh, had his head blown apart in full public view as an example, and I would say a warning, of the CIA slash Vatican New World Order power. The good news is that Donald Trump is born again. He's unplugged from the Matrix and that uh, people are praying for Trump. And see, Trump, uh, even though he's gone through three marriages, and it's not a third, third marriage, third, third marriage, he's not as, he's not, Trump's not a playboy like JFK was. If you live in unconfessed sin, uh, the CIA has more power over you. The New World Order has more power over you. If you go toward Jesus and you have Jesus wash your sins away, get born again, and you people are praying for you, and your heart is being led by the Holy Spirit and Jesus' Spirit, not perfect, you have more protection. But if you play around and you're a playboy like JFK was with Marilyn Monroe, etc., etc., uh, you lose your divine protection and you fall into the hands of the New World Order, and you lose and, and all the protection you have is what your so your, uh, your your secret service. You need more than the Secret Service. You need more than bulletproof uh, glass. You need God's protection in these last days. So keep praying for Trump. Is the CIA trying to get Trump? I think so. Will they succeed? I hope not. In Revelation chapter 13, verses 1 to 3, says that the New World Order will get its butt kicked by an incoming president. Uh, in verse 3 that the Antichrist <clears throat> will come into power, Obama, lose his power for a short period of time as another leader comes in and really bashes the head of one of the, one of the regions of the New World Order to death for a short period of time. I think this is Trump. I think Trump uh, is divinely protected, has been divinely protected by Jesus, and I'm believing and hoping and praying uh, that he will continue to be divinely protected uh, all the days of his administration. Yeah. What JFK couldn't do, I think Donald Trump will do. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Trump. Uh, bring your protection to him, to his family, to his administration. We protect the USA from the New World Order. Protect the nations from the New World Order, run by the CIA and fallen angels. Let the plans of these evil New World Order characters and pawns be, be stopped, be, uh, be put underneath your feet. Whoa. Be pushed back, be exposed. Let your kingdom come, Father. Let your will be done on earth every day as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for what you have been doing, what you are doing, and what you're going to, going to do. In Jesus' name, Father, by your spirit, amen and amen. All right, Daryl Lawson Live, I, I'm signing off right now. I'm here every day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Facebook Live, and then a recap here on YouTube. Go to my website, DarylLawsonLive.com, DarylLawson.com. Click get all my social media, subscribe, see my videos, and pass it on. Jesus is about to return. Do not be found lazy in these last days. Be a hearer and a doer of the scriptures. All right, get born again. Jesus, wash my sins away. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and start doing the scriptures by the Holy Spirit in these last days. And you will make it to the finish line. All right, Daryl Lawson Live signing up. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.